What's going on my little twisted army? It's your boy Magic Pat and I'm here bringing you another Tackle Tuesday. So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite rods I've been using all year catching all different kind of fish from saltwater and freshwater. The Akuma SRT Inshore Series Rods. So what's up y'all i'm out here we're on the river sitting out on the rocks been doing some fishing it's a little bit different today i forgot my stand to hold the camera so we're kind of holding it and uh, it's gonna be a little bit different so just bear with me if you like fishing you're hanging out being a part of a good community please subscribe to my channel like the video and uh you know just come have fun put a comment down there ask me questions and i'll try to get back to you best i can but uh today's one of those ones where we're going to talk about some of the rods that we use out here and this is absolutely one of my i guess it would be my number one go-to rod out here on the river and in salt water for the uh, lighter action you know fishing and stuff like that so uh, i've been catching striped bass on this setup you can see i've got a uh, itx reel it's one of the older models but i've hooked tarpon on it we didn't land a tarpon sadly he jumped it through the hook but we use it to chase just about everything. I've caught redfish on this setup, striped bass, hybrid, spotted bass. I've caught decent sized largemouth on it. Uh, I actually downsized and was catching bluegill and panfish on it. So it's kind of those, one of those, you could do a little bit of everything with it. So this is a carbon blank and they use a uh, split grip on the back and a light Fuji uh, reel seat. And the reason is they're trying to make this thing as light as possible. This thing barely weighs anything, which is awesome because I cast with this all day. I'm throwing flukes and tiny paddle tails, you know, up to about five inches long. We're throwing small top waters, you know, you name it, any of the lighter stuff I'm using this for. So they actually have two different models to this rod. So you've got the inshore premier and then you have the higher tier, which is the inshore elite. Um, you can tell the difference just by looking at them because the Premier has got kind of like a seafoam color, whereas the Elite is almost like a, uh, I don't know, like a bluebird sky blue kind of. It, it's a much, much more vibrant color. So it's not like you could grab one by mistake. You know when you look at them, which one is what. So I've been throwing the medium and the medium heavy all year. And like I said earlier, it's really good for those lighter baits. I find that I've been doing better with flukes and just, you know, those really small baits. I, I've had thrown really small spinner baits on it. Um, it was designed for saltwater, just like in the name, it's inshore, you know, so it's really meant for like the speckled trout and redfish. And I've done really good with that. I've done tiny paddle tails and hooked up to some big speckled trout on this thing. I've caught some, actually some small sharks, believe it or not. Uh, I use a 15 pound braid on it, but it can go, I want to say this one goes up to 20 pound and this is the seven foot medium heavy. I brought the medium heavy out here with me today. Uh, half ounce all the way up to one and a half ounce lures. I find the sweet spot is probably closer to that uh, three quarter ounce. It seems to do a lot better whenever you're using lures in that weight range, especially like if you're throwing paddle tails, which I do out here on the river all the time for these striped bass. Uh, being the carbon blank, it's super light and it's very responsive. I think this is the fast action. Uh, you can feel every bite that you come across on this bad boy. Uh, there's been many a times that I didn't even realize that, you know, I had a fish hooked up on other setups and you just reel down and you got a fish. Whereas this one, it just almost, you can feel just the subtlest little just tick and you know you got a fish on there even in fast current because out here on the river i'm constantly fishing in really fast current and you need that sensitivity to be able to pick up on some of these bites especially these spotted bass they're super aggressive a lot of times and they'll hit anything but i find that especially like during the summertime they hit real subtle if there's any type of fishing you like to do they pretty much have a rod to cover it they go from uh medium light all the way up to a heavy uh, which I think the heavy is on sale right now, so you could actually get them for a decent price. Um, I mean, it's good for live bait. I've used it live baiting for, you know, stripes and bass and out in salt water. 
Uh, I want to say biggest thing that I've ever landed on one of these was a uh, about a four foot shark. And you know, I put as much pressure as I could put on it. I've not broken one yet. You know, I fish really tight drag on everything that I use. Y'all know that if you're part of the channel and you've been here for a while. Uh, you know, I got it. I'm going to use it. And if it says it can do 30 pounds of drag, I try to get every bit I can out of it. And this thing will bend like crazy, but it will not break. At least not yet. Hopefully we'll find a fish one day that'll put that to the test. But for now, even up to like, you know, 15 pound stripes and hybrids, I've had no issue on it. Hook set, you don't have to set the hook as hard as you usually do to get that penetration inside their lip. This rod's got pretty good backbone, so when you set the hook, I'm usually pretty confident that I've got a hook in their mouth. I've only had a fish shake off maybe once or twice, and that was because it was such a, a light bite and they were coming at me, so I wasn't able to pick up enough line to get a, a correct hook set on them. So that's just one of those things. Um, if you enjoy getting out, doing the lighter action stuff, and being able to cast all day, this is a rod for you. I would say pair it up with one of their ITX reels. This is a 3000 on here. Three and 4000 seems to be like the perfect size for these. They feel super balanced, and it's just an incredible setup. So if you want to try one, pick one up. Uh, if you got a local store that sells them, cool. If not, you can go onto Akuma's website and pick one up that way. You know, I highly advise you give it a try. So I'm actually going to be going back out here in a few minutes. You can see where we're at. We're going to try catching a few more bass. And then next week we'll be in saltwater and I'll be chasing redfish and speckled trout with this thing. So I will see you there. Peace.